Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Jeff Roberts. His presenter, Class of 2000 Hall of Famer, Mr. John Azevedo. Jeff Roberts was a four-year letterman, two-year team captain, and standout wrestler at Chino High School. He also was a CIF Eastern Sectional Champion and finished fourth in the CIF Southern Section in 1972. He placed third in the National AAU Greco-Roman Championships. He then attended and started for the University of Missouri Tigers as a true freshman at 134 pounds. Unfortunately, a shoulder injury ended his career prematurely during that same year. Jeff started his 32 coaching career record in 1974. He began his coaching career as an assistant at El Dorado High School and the team won the state championships in 1983. He then moved on to become the head coach at Cabestrano High School where his teams had 57 match win streak and they placed second at state in 1988. During this time, Jeff was coach of the year for the South Coast League three times. Jeff then moved on to Orange County, where he coached at Calvary Chapel High School and was responsible for bringing John Azevedo to Calvary as they won two state titles together in 1993 and 1994. Jeff was not done traveling. He went to Bear River High School and then to Clovis West, where he coached many outstanding wrestlers. Jeff also coached numerous freestyle and Greco Roman wrestling teams. He was a head coach for the California USA Wrestling National Team, where they were junior freestyle national champions. All in all, Jeff has coached 65 state qualifiers, 39 state placers, 17 CIF state championship finalists, 10 state champions, and 8 Wrestling USA Magazine Amateur Wrestling News High School All-Americans. Jeff is a member of both the CIF state and Southern Section Wrestling Advisory Committees, along with being a member of our California Wrestling Hall of Fame Committee. Jeff is also the co-editor of the California Wrestler Newsletter. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Jeff Roberts. Just want to express uh, what an honor and privilege it is to be inducted into a Hall of Fame. I, very humbling in, in many ways. Uh, when I first started the sport, my, my dad wrestled it uh, in Oklahoma at Ponca City High School, and he you know, taught me a few things about wrestling, but I wasn't going to do it. I was a pole vaulter. I was going to run track. That's what I wanted to do. And then my, uh, one of my biology teachers, uh, Dick Ferguson, who was my first wrestling coach, he was, had a lifetime service award last year. Uh, he kind of talked me into it, and we got out for the sport. And I, I know my very first match, I didn't get a win like uh, Gary did. I, I, we were wrestling against Upland High School, Coach Beresford's team, and I lost 27 to 6. It, it was fantastic. My, my coach told me before I went out there, your job is just don't get pinned. And so I didn't. And then at the end, I was exhausted. He had the little smelling salts under my nose, and you know, I finally got revived. And after that, I was hooked. I don't know, maybe I like the smelling salts. I, I'm not quite sure. But uh, wrestling to me was uh, a way that you could you could really uh, apply yourself into it, and uh, you know the amount of hard work that you put into the sport w was something that could really pay off for you and uh, I know that when I was uh, a sophomore in high school my parents broke up and you know I was devastated by it and I know the one thing that helped get me through at least at that time was the fact that I knew that at least I, I could be pretty good at the sport of wrestling and I, I want to thank a few people obviously for uh, any part in any success that I had. Obviously, anybody who's ever coached or even wrestled, you know that uh, you are just a compilation of a input from a lot of different people. And uh, my high school coaches, Dick Ferguson and Sam Sadich, I appreciate those guys greatly. I know uh, 
Uh, my club coaches uh, at Southland Wrestling Club, Bob Combs is here tonight, and Larry Watanabe, and those guys helped me out a lot uh, when I was uh, competing in wrestling, as well as uh, George Beresford and Tom Glasheen at the Blackwatch Wrestling Club at Upland, and uh, Russ Cozart, uh, who uh, taught me a lot as well. Uh, in, in coaching, I want to acknowledge and thank, I, I got to serve under two great head coaches, uh, Frank Gonzalez, who is National High School Coach of the Year. Frank, I greatly appreciate you know all the, the time that you spent with me and all you taught me. And then uh, Coach John Azevedo also, who is a National High School uh, Coach of the Year. And I, I was just so privileged and blessed to be able to work with people like that and learn from them. I, and uh, the great assistant coaches that I've had through the years, uh, you know, almost too many to name, uh, but I'm, I'm going to give it a shot on some of them here. Uh, Teddy Wilton and Bob Janko, uh, Dennis Bardsley, who's here tonight, uh, uh, Dane Valdez, Josh Holliday, Gary Quintana, uh, Travis Mills, Stan Green, and, and my son Danny, who's over there. Uh, appreciate everybody a, a, a tremendous amount for that. And in wrestling, probably the greatest uh, thing that I've gotten out of it is the fact that uh, in Orange County, most of my career was here. The last 13 years I've been away, kind of like uh, Coach Bowden. Uh, but uh, the wonderful thing about coaching in this area is all of us would compete so hard with one another and against each other. But, you know, in, in the end of the day, kind of like Jeff Smith said, we could all be friends. And, and it's not like that everywhere. And I truly appreciate that. You know, uh, Gary uh, Dubobian and Frank Gonzalez, John Dalem, uh, John Rosales, John Owens, you know, and Frank. I mean, it's, it's always been a pleasure uh, uh, competing against you. You know, win, lose, or draw, you know, I, I think we'll be uh, lifelong friends. Uh, I'd like to thank my family. Uh, you know, one of the greatest privileges I had was being able to coach my own sons, like some of you guys have done that. And uh, th thanks, everyone, and Mary, for all the time that uh, you let me uh, work with kids. And all in all, I think the, uh, the thing that I appreciate most about 30 years of coaching is just the opportunity to work with outstanding kids and, and see kids that maybe were troubled or at risk, and, and then they get involved in a sport that, that turns them around. Uh, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.